All right. What's going on? Salvation's Edge raid loadouts coming at you live. So, all right. I'm going in as Warlock, and I got a few loadouts for you. And before I go over the loadouts, I'm just going to go over general just weapons. So, just to give an idea. For right now, also, uh, they have... Um, Disable a couple of things. They haven't disabled anything that I know of so far. So, again, we'll see. So, starting off, I'm going to bring in Mountaintop. Good, just uh, mechanical movement and also just short burst movement because I'll be using Sunshot to kind of clear out ads with a Grip Sword to move. This is kind of more my movement thing, trying to get point A, point B. Mostly, this is what I'll be using in the beginning of the raid or just kind of going for transitions. I have Thorn, it's good for Prismatic, also is a hand cannon, and it has the just, it has that buff against red bars, and it's just good overall. Uh, forgive like the lighting, uh, the lights and the lighting of all the weapons, because I'm about to get everything kind of, it's a little prepped up, but I'm already over prepped, so it's whatever. Uh, Thorn, just for that extra tick and everything, I'll be running that with Necrotic Grips right here, don't worry about that. Um... Then I have Outbreak. Outbreak's just good for add clear and also just for backup boss CPS, as always. I'm using Lost Signal. Uh, good Wither Horde replacer. As you see, I don't have Wither Horde on me, but Wither Horde is in my uh, dim if ever I do need Wither Horde. But Lost Signal is actually pretty strong, including with the artifacts, being that the Creeping Chill works with it. So there's that. Uh, we have a trace rifle. Uh, I just have this trace rifle. Also, I have div, so I'll be running Xenotaph. Um, I have a blinding gel. Blinding gel is just strong overall. So there's that. Midnight coup. If I don't want the exotic, I have a legendary midnight coup. Just have that. Uh, it's pretty much my uh, fate bringer role, just uh, as midnight coup because of indomitability. Uh, good to partner with my prismatic and just uh, with well. Um, I got scatter, scatter signal because uh, usually if there's a boss that I just can't precision, like uh, supremacy, I, I use a scatter signal. Also, scatter signal is just good to partner up with if you're tractor or galahorn. So we'll do that. I'm using the last call so I can kind of be more ammo efficient. Uh, if I have to use double special, I have it there. But it's not what I prefer ideal, but it is what it is. But last call is also good for just good burst major. So there's that. Um, supremacy, good for burst major, good for boss. Um, so there's that. Also good for long range. Uh, again, I, I did say I'm using Sunshot. Sunshot is just really strong, uh, including for Prismatic. I can get myself back pretty fast. I'm using... Um, Indebted Kindness, so just like the call, I'm using Indebted Kindness with Love and Gold uh, Decon. Uh, Decon uh, does well against Majors and also just the ammo it pulls from Reserves and then having Left from Gold, so I can run that and say I can run Thorn or I can run, you know, Midnight Coup and then say I want to run Risper, whatever could work, you know. Uh, I have Father Sin to double dip into uh, Void Surges, so I'll have as transit. So if say I'm able to do a proper DPS thing, then I'll probably be swapping Father Sins to that and then maybe run Outbreak or Thorn. Then I got Div. Div Cage is, uh, they did nerf it a little bit, but it's still good because of just, it's a free crit spot. So say if we ever need a thing for a crit, I have that also. It's just good for Xenotaph. Um, I have two summoners here. So... Apparently, Enhanced Onslaught was doing triple times the damage profile than it was supposed to be doing. So, as right now, I have not seen anything being nerfed about the Onslaught or being disabled. So, that's my flying under the radar. If it does get disabled, I do have another summoner here with Subsistence uh, Incandescent. It's just more of an auto rifle. Auto rifle is pretty strong, just overall. So there's that. I have the Epical hand cannon here. Uh, if you didn't know, or if you didn't grind out Rune Nightmare weapons, which I have a bunch of Rune, of Rune Nightmare weapons in my dim, just to pull over if we have, say, a Subjugator like boss, because they updated it to where it does uh, more damage to Subjugators. Uh, 
and tormentors. So there's that. That should also count as the little guys that are also like the strand and stasis ones. Forbearance, overall good ad clear. Again, so say I need ad clear and say I need to do mechanics. I can just do, you know, thorn to hit the mechanics or I can do, again, a double special loadout with that. Um, just as is. I have Recluse just because Recluse has been a good staple, just a good SMG. Um, again, there is the Expanding Abyss, uh, which this last column here, me and my team are pretty much going to be just uh, slotting and slotting out on like what we kind of would need on the fly for each encounter. So there's that. Now for the heavy, we have a movement guillotine. So with enhanced uh, eager edge. So again, this is just for movement and transitioning. Then I have a DPS guillotine with Bane Switch Vorpal. I uh, didn't have surrounded, but this will work. Um, so we're thinking that there might be a sortable boss. We have that. We even have a, a dude that finally got the uh, Ergo Sum with Wolf Pack rounds. So there's that. Uh, for Whisper, we're using that for a long range. I don't have a linear, but I do have a backup linear if need to. If I cannot do Whisper the Worm. We got Xenophage. Just go overall. Go overall. So say I want to do this, this, and a Blinding Jail. That'll work. And then usually uh, in day one scenarios when I have Xenophage, I actually swap out for a Athenian Aspects. Just so I can have that increased handling and reload. And I'll load like solar loaders into that which i haven't done that yet but it'll be adjusted when i go in to the raid um now after that we got gallowhorn gallowhorn really good um so the reason behind gallowhorn is just a good overall like big major and just um add clear red bar clear it's just a glorified just like the loadout here would be kind of like this and then i run you know, if I wanted to, I could run double spech or I can run, you know, just I mean, a coup. And this would be like a good overall just killer on the uh, ad clear department. So say like totems for uh, King's Fall or anything along those lines would be really strong. Now we have the good old edge transit. I have another one with frenzy if I can't proc bait and switch. So there's that image assassin bait and switch really strong. Um, again, since I have Galahor, I'm also bringing my Apex Predator, we recon Bane Switch, since it's a very strong rocket. So there's that. Uh, say I can't use Galahorn or I can't use Xenophage, I do have Pro Memoria, which, uh, Tristan Orbs and Frenzy, really strong. So then I could probably partner that up with, say, you know, just whatever I can interject with that. So, like I said, this is my loadout for going in uh for transitions and everything i have a well uh heat, re heat rises cure you know this is more like my we're gonna test the waters loadout so we can go pretty fast there's that now for my first loadout here we have a sun bracers build here so this is more for ad clear and such things so pretty much say um i have a bunch of red bars or a lot of trash enemies whatever this will be a good trash enemy, like clear. I'm gonna be making a bunch of orbs with sun bracers. So there's that. It's really strong. And then I have a swap to a Xenotaph with the sun bracers build so going. So then say there's something we need to make ammo. I can tag it for ammo. Then say I can swap back to sun bracers as is. Uh, I do have a three set up for Starfire Protocol. So this is just the Starfire one. So I can throw a bunch of just nades while going in. And then say again, we need to do Xenotaph. There's that. This is my also my swap two for damage. So pretty much I'm going to be using Starfire for more of a damage approach. But also I will be probably using sun bracers for a damage approach the difference between these loadouts is for sun bracers i'm actually using song of flame because it has a very strong dr and also phoenix dive being really good to reproc the healing and make sure your dr doesn't go down and then for uh, starfire it's actually well so i can build into well 
and have no problem. So say I forgot to, or we're testing out to before we get to damage, we can then do that. Um, for uh, damage wise though, say I do slam down a well, I'm gonna be running stag to pop down a times two resistance rift. So then we won't die in the well, but like again, uh, you can actually pop a song of flame to actually uh, apply DR to your rest of your team and also their connects will do extra damage. Uh, then we have a Song of Flame uh, Speaker's Sight. Uh, this is all about healing that I have and it's all gonna be Song of Flame, like I said. So this is just gonna be a bit about kind of being more of that support role of actually filling in. So say like, you know, we don't quite need a bunch of wells. Like we've kind of discussed on our fire team or if we're going into day one, we're not going to have that many wells. We're going to kind of like transition people through like, you know, Song of Flame to kind of have that good DR resistance while also we have a well. Uh, we have one of our, we have our only hunter. He might run Duskfield grenades. We might not. We're just going to kind of feel it out for that. But this is more of a very strong support. Um, again, I can also use Summoner and then probably swap this for something else. So now I can have more healing towards enemies because of Heal Clip. And then for my bread and butter, which I might use maybe throughout the raid because it's kind of overall really strong is Prismatic. And this Prismatic Song of Flame, uh, it has Vortex Need to apply the debuff. I have Arcane Needles to apply uh, Poison, while also I have Phoenix Dive for just the healing. And then Feed the Void and Helion. So how this would work is... Um, with my fragment here, solution, landing precision hits, and miss severing. We're going to be using Thorn because it just says, you know, so there's that. So we'll be spreading around a lot of necrotic grip with also sever through arcane needle and also through my hand cannon. And then also we'll have feed the void to feed into a lot of abilities to come back and also a healing item. And then with Helion, if say I need just someone to, I need an extra buddy because Helion is actually pretty fast to proc. Helion can then help me proc my devour and we can build back into this. It's very huge uh, play to get this. So it is that. Um, but yeah, that that's kind of the thing. Uh, Necrotic Grips, uh, Song of Flame. I got Traveler's Sight, support role for Song of Flame, normal. And then I have a Starfire, which that should be working out. And then I have me a Sunbracers, which also should be working out. So uh, that is all my loadouts for the day one raid. I hope to see all you there. Gotcha deuces.